So everybody's seen those uh, old-fashioned 1970s and 80s uh, acoustic drop ceilings uh, with the ceiling tiles and all that kind of stuff, and there aren't a whole lot of ways to make those pretty. You'll see people do things like paint them and, you know, maybe even remove the uh, acoustic tiles and replace them with wooden tiles or PVC tiles. But this is a product uh, called Woodhaven from Armstrong, and it is a composite thing. Uh, real similar to the Pergo flooring that is made to go over these kind of ceilings. And uh, they come with some clips in the box that are made for more attaching them directly to other ceilings. But there's this magical clip up here called an Easy Up clip. And this thing slides right in the groove and hides all of the fasteners and all that and just attaches right to these grids. Now, this one is from the 80s and it is very strong. Uh, I could practically do a pull up, you know, on that grid up there. And so the way this stuff goes up, I'll show you just a second on a short piece and give you a couple tips. So if you've ever installed something like Pergo, you know, it's, it's a tongue and groove type floor and you expect uh, to have some kind of clicking. Well, this stuff uh, floats a lot more than Pergo. It doesn't push in and click up. It just kind of slides in and just sits there. So. You know, I'm going to put this in and it, there's no real stick to it, but these little clips, you just slide them over here and it attaches them to the ceiling. And they can still move a little bit this way and that way, but for the most part, uh, they're really stuck. Now you've got to leave a big three quarter inch gap over here on the side and that's a little annoying. You can see that I've got all these kind of flapping loose over here. You have to put some kind of border trim around it, which is a little annoying because with three quarter inch gap, you need at least an inch of trim on this side to make it look decent. So I'm going to show you a few more tips as we go, but I just want to give you an idea how this stuff went up. So if you read the instructions, they'll tell you to take these easy up clips and just kind of put them up one at a time. What I decided to do is to put them on the far side of the track, put three or four of them up at a time. And so they're already there. So when I'm ready, I just slide the board over and hit it in. You see they move nice and easy. So it's no big deal. When it comes time to putting the clips up or taking them down, you just reach, grab, and snap them up and that's how the whole ceiling is supported. Okay, so um, I mentioned the Easy Up clips which we bought separately. They were not the ones that came with the kit and uh, they are good for pretty much everything except for when you have an intersection and you can't get the Easy Up clip to slide in there. So they did come with these clips and these are not the Easy Up clips. These are ones that are made to be screwed up here like this and you can put them either on the cross track or if you have to, you can put them on the other track out here, just wherever you need to, depending on how the thing intersects. Now, they come with these screws, and my recommendation with these screws, as I always tell my wife, the screws that come with items are trash. So we throw those away, and step up to some tech screws, these ones with the bigger heads that look like they'd get in the way, but these little tech screws are the way to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of these clips up here, and get it anywhere. Now you do want to put it a little bit off center so you don't hit it on the track. And there's a decent chance that this screw is going to fall, so have a couple extra around. And uh, you want to go up here and you want to be just a little off center and get your finger out of the way. And put them up just like that. And uh, it's not a bad idea every once in a while to use these kind of clips because they're kind of a fixed point that's going to stop the ceiling from being able to slide this way by accident. So. When in doubt, use these clips, but the easy up clips are what makes this a breeze.